Well, good morning. This is Pastor Keith Hodges. I want to welcome you today to Everyday Sunday. And today we're going to look in Psalms 103, verses 8 through 11. And today I want to share with you a message entitled, Great is His Mercy. And I hope you got your praise shoes on this morning. I hope you're ready to shout and dance. Because as we talk about the mercy of God, I think nothing probably should excite us. Nothing should invoke praise and worship and celebration and honor to God like the revelation of the mercy of the Lord. And maybe today, maybe you've recognized uh, that your praise hasn't been what it needs to be, that somewhere you've lost your shout and you've lost your excitement about who God is. My prayer today uh, is that this simple devotional on the mercy of God, great as his mercy, will just stir up a spirit of praise, a spirit of worship, and a spirit of celebration that says, God, I want to honor you and praise you every day. And I want to put my dancing shoes on and my praising shoes on, and I'm going to celebrate you because you are a good good father. So look what David said in Psalms 103 verse 8. He says, the Lord is merciful and gracious. He is slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. And look at verse 10. And he has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. So great is his mercy toward those who fear him. I want you to say a couple things. David recognized something that we need to recognize. He recognized the mercy of God. He recognized that the Lord is merciful and gracious. And as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is God's mercy over us. And listen to what he says in verse 10. He says, he has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our Iniquities, or iniquity really deals with kind of that sin nature, that behavior within us that is bent towards sin. And David says this, he says, God has not dealt with us according to our sins. God has not punished us according to our iniquity because great is his mercy. Now, let me just say this to you today. David understood that there were consequences and there were repercussions to sin. As a matter of fact, uh, David's life was filled with the consequences and repercussions of sin. He saw division in his family. He suffered the grief and the loss of people that he loved because of sin that brought death. Uh, he experienced rejection and rebellion. He experienced the, the consequences and suffering that sin brings into the hearts and lives of people. But David also realized something. He realized even though there were consequences for his sin, even though he had endured horrible things as a result of the choices and decisions he had made, he also recognized something. He recognized that God is great in his mercy. He recognized God's not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. David realized something. David realized that if I really got what I deserved, <laughs> it would have been a whole lot worse. If I really would have suffered the full repercussions of my sin, then I would not be here today. The realization is simply this. Uh, we have, by the mercy of God, endured. We have endured and we have come out on the other side. When we should have been destroyed, we weren't destroyed. When we should have been wiped out, we weren't wiped out. What should have devastated us for years set us back for weeks or even months because of the mercy of God. What should have ended our marriage didn't end our marriage. What should have taken the lives of the people that we love did not take their lives. What should have bankrupt us or spiritually disconnected us from the goodness of God did not because of the mercy of the Lord. When I was a kid growing up, uh, sometimes uh, daddy would whip us. So we said, well, daddy, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And he'd say, well, this is for the times that you got away with the things that you did do that I didn't find out about. And the realization, if we were punished according to all our sins, we would not be here today. If we were punished according to all of our sins, if God dealt with us one-to-one, -one, <laughs> moment-to-moment -moment for the sins that we have committed, we would have been destroyed long ago. We would have never made it, let's just be honest, out of our teenage years. We would have never grown into adulthood. But the Lord, listen to this, is great in his mercy. He is great in his mercy. He is merciful and gracious. He is slow to anger and he is abounding in mercy. And today, today, I just want you to realize that. Let's, let's just come into recognition with David. Let's realize today that God is great in mercy. 
And yes, there have been suffering and there have been heartaches and there are repercussions and consequences for our sin. And we, the truth is we deserve those things. If you lie, cheat, and steal, there are repercussions that come. If you're dishonest and you walk uh, in, in, in manipulation and corruption and perversion, then yeah, there's going to be bad things that are going to happen. But let's just be honest today. Let's recognize something, that God is merciful. And even though we have deserved much worse than what we've received, God has shown mercy on us. David goes on there in this Psalms 103, and he says, You remember that we are but dust. Because you are a loving father who has pity upon his children. So I want to just say to you today, let's praise God. Let's praise God. Put your praise shoes on. Put, put your shouting shoes on. Let's just praise the Lord this morning. Let's thank him that he is great in his mercy. Let's praise him that even though it has been difficult, it could have been a lot worse if God would have dealt with us according to our sins. But by his mercy and by his grace, he has redeemed us. He has rescued us. He has brought us out and brought us in to the goodness of God. So let's praise him because he is great in his mercy.